Robert's out here in uh, Winchester, California, and uh, you're probably wondering why you're seeing my feet from my gun spinning trick of the um, week. Um, I'm gonna show you how to tap dance. Uh, no, that's not it. Here's why. I want to show you how I practice. See, when I'm doing a new gun routine or working with a new gun that I'm not familiar with, or just in general sometimes in practice, because here's the reality. Uh, different guns have different weights, and when I'm practicing something new, here's the cool thing. Common sense. The lower you are to the ground, the easier it is on your gun. And when you're paying four or five hundred bucks, or whatever it happens to be, you want to make sure that you're not going to be going from a high distance, throwing your gun up and busting it on the ground. Handles break like that sometimes. So when I'm trying something new like the gun that I was working with the Circus Soleil and spinning that, well, I wanted to make sure at seven pounds, because when you drop this puppy, boy, you sure can hear it. I wanted to make sure that I was, oh, see, close to the ground. Because the working out new ideas and new tricks means that you have to know that you have to know that you're going to take some falls. So, with my new gun, and of course, this is an airsoft, but here's the reality. The reality is that it's like a pretty expensive one, so it's uh, the real deal in the sense that the weighting is right. I'll put the safety on, of course, because when it fires like this, I might want to get used to the weight and throw it around, do that. So, the closer I am to the ground, the better off it is for me and doing what I do. Because if I drop it, there we go. See, I'm trying to use the weights, but I'll tell you that's the thing. You try different guns and spin them differently. The problem is, is that the weights are different. Ooh, so if you're close to the ground, you don't have to worry so much about busting your gun because you will be closer and your chances are that you won't have to worry about your gun hitting, oh, hitting the ground and having a problem. Somewhere in here, it's gonna take me a while oh, to practice and get this right. So I highly recommend, my tip of the day is of course, to be able to take your gun, practice it low to the ground. You can do this on your bed. Shoot, you can do this on your bed. And be able to get that going on. Help. And be able to be good at all guns. So practice the load down. That way, you don't go to several hundred dollars. Is of course to be able to take your gun, practice it low to the ground. You can do this on your bed. Shoot. There you can do this on your bed. And be able to get that going on. Help. And be able to be good at all guns. So practice low to the ground. That way, you don't go through several hundred dollars worth of gun in no time. You can save it yeah, and become really good. I'm Will Roberts. Trickropers.com is my site. Wow. And we'll see you next time. Ooh, I like that one. Around. Hmm. Fade to black.